Good morning and welcome to our seed of encouragement. Today I got a word and that word say, what lies within. Whatever that is within you is what that can destroy you. What is outside, around you, in front of you, behind you can destroy you. Your past experience has just is taught you, you learn from it and you're moving forward. And what is the future is not going to harm you if you start thinking about that. But if you start thinking about the future, then you, you're not going to be living the present. So the what that should matters is what that is within you, what that lies within you. And that what that lies within you is what you have to shield, is what you have to protect. Because, you know, that's why the Bible tells us in Proverbs 4, 23, that guide their hearts with all diligence, therefore out of it flows the issue of life. I like the way NIT, NIT put it, said, guide your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Actually, it does. Because if you, if you constantly bringing forth negativity in your thoughts then that's what you're sowing around you that's what you're gonna have that's what you are going to harvest everything around you will be rotten spoiled smelling because that's what you're bringing at you your thoughts are always that of evil your thought you never think of anything good gonna happen to you you never believe in the miracles of god that they are they are pertaining to you you read you go through the word of god but ah this happened to certain people not to me then that's how your life is gonna be it continues to happen to certain people it won't happen to you that's why he said guide your heart with all diligence because that's where the spring of life, the way spring of life starts, that's where it spring forth. Your, your thought determine the course of your life. Your thought is like the map that you have that can take you to your destiny, depending on what you have in. And that's why you have to guide it. That's why God keeps saying in everything Jesus said, he said, guide your heart because that's where. That's where you can actually get up and move. You can get up and heal. If you have faith in you, believe it in your heart, then no matter what you see, you did the, the, we don't live by sight. We don't live by sight. We don't live by sight but by faith because if you look at your circumstances, honestly, you're not going to believe anything is going to good is going to come out of it. But when you have faith in the promises of God, like I said last week, you hold on to the promises of God, know that those promises of God apply to you and you believe it, then it's going to come to fruition. But when you don't believe it in your heart, in your soul, it's not going to come to fruition. When you're full of doubt, the Bible says that he that doubtful doesn't get anything because you're wavering. You know, you be wavering like this. You can't, you can't get anything so doubtful. You can't get anything from God. You can't. You don't believe in yourself enough. You can't, you can't amount to anything. What makes you get up and begin to wish for a good life is when you believe in yourself and when you love yourself and you say you want to give yourself the best. And that comes from a thought that is positive, right? That comes from a thought that is joyful. That comes to a, from a place that is peaceful. peaceful. That comes from a place that believes, that has faith, that said those that diligently seek God, He is the rewarder of those that diligently seek Him. And you believe it, then it will come to fruition. So today I just come with this word to tell you that what that lies within you have the power to make you or break you. You can go through everything you go through in life, but how you respond to it is what matters. You see, 90% of how your life goes is how you respond to it. Yes. Things can happen to, to two people, the same thing. One person survives, one person commits suicide. It's just the way the person chooses to handle their reaction. And you cannot give power to your emotion. Like I said, you don't give power to your emotion. You don't make decisions with emotion. No. Because it fit us. You have to be strong enough to hold on to the faith and the word of God has given you. Because God said in Romans 8, Romans 8, 10, he said, And those he predestined, he called, those he called, he also justify and those he justify he glorifies so god already has called you to him you are his and then you are not 
living your life in the principle of what God has given you because you're so doubtful within you. You, you, you don't even believe you are man to anything. You see yourself as you have a, 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 something happen and then you think you're a failure. Something happened, you can't pick yourself up. You, you, you continue to be where you are at the mercy of people. Some people just want to be pitiful. They just want to be at everybody's mercy. They just want people to look at them and, and be merciful unto them. And I ask myself, can't you just get up? It happened. Yeah, I got my heart broke too. I got thrown out. I got to do this. I'm sick. I'm all that. But gather yourself. Hold faith. See that woman with issue of blood. She did, she did everything as we women we do. Go to hospital, follow her medication. Did everything. And nothing works. She has a choice to make. Either to stay in her house and, and die. Or when he heard about Jesus to go seek for healing. And she chose to go seek for healing. She drank her smelly self. You know what it means to lose in blood? That's life. She drank herself, pull herself, and get to where Jesus is. That is, she, she tell her heart, she tell herself, she tell her soul, no, I'm not going to be in this condition. I refuse to be in this condition. I refuse to be what people call me. When people challenge you that you can't be this, that is when for you to get up and show them you can be that. When people say you can't amount to this, that is when you should take that energy, take that anger, right? Take that fuel and show that person you will not. When people dear you and tell you you can't be this, that's when you should get up and tell them you can be. You walk towards it and you achieve it and they will say you can. Don't sit back there and cry. When you finish crying, yeah, go ahead, cry, lament, right? When you don't dust yourself or pick yourself up and keep going, it all flows from your heart. As a man thinketh, so is he. If you think you can't be good, you will not be good. If you think you can't make it, then you can't make it. If you think you are so fearful, you will be fearful. The devil will keep attacking you with fear. So I come today to tell you that you have to look inside let's go to a story of that woman that went to look to see the prophet and said prophet the the the, the uh, debtors want to take my child my sons away from me i don't have anything the prophet said what do you have thank god she remembers she have a little jar of oil she said i just have a little jar of oil and the prophet said go and borrow verses shut your door and then pour the oil she did. She listened. She shut her door. She, you shut your ears, shut your eyes from distraction. Whether it's from TV, whether it's from your phone, shut them down from distraction and focus. She did. And she has a little job for you. See what lies within her, the capacity she has. Because God has given us capacity. God has given us talent. That's why it's a waste of time when you want to imitate somebody or you want to compare your life with somebody. You're just wasting away your life. And that's foolishness. You know, because you all we are all precious, unique in God's own way. He formed you, he created you in a precious way, in a unique way. Walk in your own and identity and stop trying to be somebody else that again make you lose your essence and i'm telling you today that it's within because every thought whatever you're doing it is in your heart you form it in your heart if you want to lost about somebody you started losting from your eye you think it then you do it that's what it is and it's telling us today to to guide it guide it guide guide your within because it all boils down within you your past cannot determine your future. It is you. We are within. That which is within you is what can determine your future. How you choose to accept your circumstances. Job cried, did everything and said, you know, I'm going to be with you, God. No matter what, I am going to be with you. He didn't cause God. He was faithful. And he was rewarded. So you have to. Esther said, Lord, I perish. I know I'm going to go to the king anyway. If I perish, I perish. And she went. The, the three Hebrew boys said, go, King, we're not going to bow to no other God but Jehovah Jehusha that we know. The Almighty God, the I am, is who we bow to. Cast us in fire. We don't care. If he say it was fine, if he doesn't care, was, that's okay. Then they say, I'm going to keep worshiping God, the maker of my soul. He was casting the lions in. It is you. It is how you 
determine in yourself that this sickness is not going to kill me, this situation is not going to kill me, this circumstance is not going to take me away. You will find the inner strength because God has given us inner strength. Have you ever wondered things happen to you, even asking how do I come out of this and you find that is when you find your strength when you are pushed to the wall that's when you bounce back yeah that is when you find so circumstances come to to train you make you strong and then you when you come out from one you'll be like wow you look back you say you didn't know you can do it so when the next one is coming you'll be like i i, I can navigate this so it lies your strength lies within you the song the song said the hero is within you the hero is in you. Nobody is your hero. The hero is in you. The strength is in you. You have to come out like David. Be bold. Go after the life. Go after the dear that want to take away your happiness. With boldness. Not timidity. The word of God says, I have not given the spirit of fear. Not the spirit of timidity. timidity but of sound mind. And he's telling us today that what lies within us is the most important thing you should worry about. Yes, because when God has called you, when he has predestined you, he called you, and when he called you, he justified you. And when he justified you, he glorified you. So God knows you. And he's seen you through all you need to do is to stand in your essence and begin to guide your heart and know what you are bringing out from your heart. Whether it's a hate, is it love, you know. You think about that and have a wonderful time. Thank you.